Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, the DJ. Got a special guest for y'all this afternoon. Uh, my homie, if he would get his lazy butt up. He was born March 25th. He is, he'll be four months, right? March, April, May, June, yeah, July. He'll be four months. Y'all know stuff don't come that quick. I thought, I think I got mixed up with his birthday from my other dog. His birthday is March 25th. His name is Zeus. And Zeus is really, really just, um, he's got such the perfect um, temperament such the perfect nature for a Corso that um, he has definitely got to be bred. You know, I thought about if I was going to neuter him because as y'all know, I was, I'm a, used to be a Rottweiler breeder. Um, and that's what, you know, one of the other talents that I have. But I really, really like this breed. And I, what I really like about this breed is his energy level. This particular dog, I thought his temperament was very well. Not only was he raised in a home with a bunch of small children, he is totally gentle and um, just extremely cooperative. He's medium energy, unlike my Zuri, who was up and out and all over the place. So uh, it got to the point where I would actually have to pay people to walk him because and take him out because he... Um, his energy was just too much for me, and especially when I went through a little of my health crisis. He was just out of control. <laughs> but as he got older, we both, he kind of settled down, and as y'all know, I lost him a few months ago, and, um, you know, that was a sad thing for me. But, however, the life goes on, things happen, incidents and, you know, setbacks and drawbacks. But I am really, really proud of my baby here, who you guys have got to see is just, um, he's just a, a big beluga. But he's kind of, he's, he's kind of lazy, he's kind of on the lazy side. He's not uh, real high energy, which is perfect for me. He's just real laid back. He likes to walk. We walk about 45 minutes in the morning. Um, my daughter comes by, she takes him out about maybe an hour or something in the evening. And to be honest with you, he's pretty tuckered out when he comes back. <laughs> he's just pretty tuckered. And so, um, which makes the dog so much easier to train, makes him so much easier to be res uh, responsive to what you're talking about because you've ran out the energy that he has. So, Zeus. Zeus, you want to meet these people? Come here, Zeus. Come here. Come here, Zeus. Come here, big fella. Come here. Hey, baby. Come on, see these people. Hey, Zeus, Zeus, come here. Come here, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Come here. Come on. Come on, Zeus. You don't want the people listen. They want to see you. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Oh. Get up. I don't think he wants this. I don't think he likes attention that much. He don't like the spotlight. If this was Zuri, he brought his hand butt in here really quick. Oh, Zeus is pretty lazy. Again, as I said. But I'm going to try to pick him up. This is Zeus. 
news. You won't let the people see. Mm-hmm. You won't let the people see. Ah, uh, come on, big brother. <laughs> Oh, Zeus, you're so big. Come here, Zeus. There we go. Here, Zeus. Here he is. <laughs> hey, Zeus. Say hi to the people, Zeus. They don't want to see you. This is Zeus. Hey, Zeus. See, I'm going to have a birthday in a couple weeks. Look at that. This is him. This is he. He's a big, big, big boy. He's very beautiful. Yes. Say, so, yes, I'm very beautiful and I know it. Mm-hmm. He's a big fella. He's such a gentle giant. And like I said, he's going to definitely sire some good puppies. Um... Uh, because his his temperament is just so wonderful. But that's a long ways away. Um, of course, a lot of people, y'all know with these dogs, it's like two years before they're basically adults. So he's got a lot more growing to do. And as y'all can see, I can barely pick him up now. And he's only, he'll be four months. Right? Ain't that right, big, big, big boy? I can barely pick him up. So he's not doing very well. We're showing y'all how beautiful he is. He's just laying here like a pile of horse crap. But this is Zeus. Look at these big old paws. Zeus. Quit kissing, Zeus. Look at these feet. That's Zeus's feet. And I'm going to have to show him some other time because he just wants to kiss right now. Of course, I don't want that. Come here, Zeus. Come here. Let's go. Down. Down. That's what I want you to do. I want you to go lay, lay down. Lay down. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. As you know, we're in training. And hopefully I'll be able to give y'all some more shots of um, Zeus, you know, a little later on. But... You know, I'm, I was just trying to say a lot of times, you know, you guys, when you have a situation or a relationship that you break up or a relationship, you know, that the, the ties are severed, um, a lot of times we do a lot of destructive things to ourselves before we can actually find um, the gear to keep it moving. As y'all know, for myself, it took a minute. For me to get my gear straight because I keep wondering to myself why am I straight <laughs> with all this crazy stuff happening in the world is like Cal gonna take me away but I want you to know that if you can beat the early here's a yeah if you can beat the early parts of your depression by picking up certain at habits or creating new realities for yourself that may be different, then you can find your save yourself a lot of time um, on the other end when you come through in terms of how you have to pick yourself up. There's a lot of us who binge eat. There's a lot of us who won't eat. And our loneliness and hurtfulness manifests itself in a lot of uh, different ways. So, you know, if you're the kind of person like that have found out that you are maybe an emotional eater or a non-eater when you're emotional, then those are the things that you need to kind of maybe navigate through. Give yourself some love, give yourself some patience, and see if you can navigate that part of your life without picking up too much weight without drinking too much alcohol or consuming too many drugs. Learn how to deal with what is bothering you. Deal with what's bothering you. 
um, the hurt, the pain, the loneliness, and whatever it is that the missing link is bringing to your life. Be able to identify it and uh, hopefully it'll make your recovery a little smooth. Okay? All right. I just wanted to come up with that quick message for y'all. And um, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video right here in the mental house.